I want to talk to you about uh, Ed Snyder. I mean, obviously working for him, legendary owner. Right. Um, yeah, obviously, yeah, really I got I got to see Mr. Snyder on. Uh, you know, obviously as a player, as as a coach, uh, and then getting to work with him when I was a GM, and then a little bit at the end there when I was a president of the Flyers. But uh, what, what a wonderful man! Uh, you, know, you know, Flyers family was was him really. I mean, he's he's the one that uh, I'm sure he didn't start out thinking I got to make this a family but because of the way he treated everybody that's kind of what what happened really over the course of time and um, all he cared about was uh, winning uh, when you worked for him he, he he wanted to make sure everything was available in order for for you to do your job the best you could and then he let you do your job he didn't he didn't interfere he he would debate you on things he, uh, vehemently debate on whatever you wanted to do. You wanted to sign this guy as a free agent. You wanted to make this trade. You wanted to fire this guy. Uh, you wanted to play this guy in the power play over this guy. Like he, and he wanted to debate that. You'd debate. But at the end of the day, it's okay. Good luck. <laughs> I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so he was that involved in some... So, some of your day -day um, no, stuff, but you know a lot of stuff. I, I remember one conversation. He, he he called me up one time, and I I can't remember what precipitated the call, but we might have made it. We might have made. <laughs> yeah, we <laughs> might have made. Game. <laughs> we might we might have made a you know a small trade or something. And he you know I you try to keep him informed, right? I mean he is he, he is the owner. He should <laughs> know what's going on. Of course, yeah. So I must have forgot to tell him something, and he. So he calls me up and he's kind of yelling at me. So I just I listen and take it in and then I, I say, okay. So let me get this straight. So if I if I want to give uh, the equipment manager a ten thousand dollar raise, should I call you on that? Well, no, don't don't be silly. You don't have to do that. But <laughs> so it's you know it's just you could go back at him with yeah. stuff. It was just uh, I I I loved working with him and. And you know what? At the end, I remember I talked to him a lot, even when he was yeah. near the end. I'd FaceTime with him, and uh, we had we had a lot of good talks. But he, he, you know, everybody misses him, right? Yeah, I mean, we, we all miss him. Yeah. Uh, he, yeah. um, he was just a um, wonderful mentor and wonderful guy to be around. I yeah. I used to I I thought it was so cool, like. He would come in like the day, if, like say he came to the skate zone. It wasn't a lot, but I remember the one day I was outside grabbing something out of my car, and he came flying in in that uh, really cool color. I don't want to say purple is a lightish Porsche? blue. That Porsche, yeah. lightish blue with a hint of purple, it's like metallic, like just sickest car. He comes flying in, windows down, shades on, just rock and roll, <laughs> just blaring. I'm like, look at this guy. This is the coolest so. thing I've ever seen. Comes in, and I'm like, that's that car is sick, Mr. Schneider, because he came in the back way and then went upstairs. And he's like, you want to take it for a test drive? I'm like, absolutely not. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> yeah. My luck, I'll pull out and get T-boned. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> trying to work the rest of my life to pay we, it off. We were driving a lunch one time. We were going to Famous Dave's down there on Columbus Boulevard. Yeah. Yeah. You know that road there? He's going around 20 miles an hour. I said, this thing open up a little bit. <laughs> Imagine <laughs> <Yeah>. saying that. <laughs> he, so he stomps on it. Oh. We're going about 140 <laughs> miles an hour down Columbus <laughs> Boulevard. Ooh, this is all right. Oh yeah. my God, that's no, funny you say that because you're pretty fast driving. Uh, I settled down. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I drive to, a lot. Yeah. when they used to come like say we're in brooklyn or new york it'd be like uh, how long it take you uh, you know about 30 minutes 30 minutes yeah, yeah. <laughs> whoever was riding with them's like yeah hold on way. tight yeah. <laughs> used to bust Strapping. his chop nobody fell asleep no yeah. no they didn't <laughs> i'll tell you that i i remember too a couple times like mr snyder like he was so passionate like I remember one time he, you know, like he would come not more than one time if if the guys had a bad game and he would come down. I remember when Chief was coaching and he was all over both of you and nothing really that you had done, but he was just so mad and he kept coming down and I was like waiting because the guys kicked everyone out of the room having a team meeting. You know, you've been in those. Sure. And uh, he had his ear up to the door and he he was like. What are they saying there? What are they saying? I'm like, I, I don't know. I'm trying to listen to you know. But he was so red. You know when you get mad, he get oh, red yeah. like that. But he was awesome. He he was he was he was just awesome. Just yeah. an awesome man. 
sometimes you gotta just you just gotta take it. Yeah. Yeah. Let yep. <laughs> let him get yeah, it off exactly. his chest. Yeah, exactly. What are you gonna say? Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> what are you gonna say? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's got to be uh, amazing to work with him and kind of pick his brain and understand the, where the vision comes from because it's like to build a, a franchise like the Flyers and. And, 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 and everything that's people. spun off of the flyers, right, really. Exactly. When you think about it, Prism and oh, yeah, yeah no that's doubt. true. Yeah, uh, I forgot about all those all those companies. It's, un, it's unbelievable. Pretty it's an amazing. unbelievable story.